Can you feel that? Yeah, it feels like it's Friday. Happy Friday, everyone. I hope you guys have some weekend plans scheduled. I wanted to go over some market movers here today, starting a list off with 15 movers. And the first on that list is Sword of the Parents. We've seen this one before. This is from Commander Anthology. This is up 33.61% from 598 to $7.99. And this is used in a lot of Commander decks. More recently, a Uriac of the Scorch Thrash deck. Okay, and the next card we have on the list is If Beef Afrit. Wow, very hard to say that one fast. From Arabian Nights, this is our first reserve list card on the list, up 37.56% from $199.91 to $275. And there is no decks that use this, but you know, it is a reserve list card from Arabian Nights, and that's why it's on this list. Next up is Mountain from Crushing Brutality Secret Layer Series. This is one of the arts that we got along with uh, Kaldheim. This is 38.34% uh, from $9.39 to $12.99. And the reason for it is because there's, it's no longer available on the Secret Layer shop. You can only get it on the secondary market. Next up is Jared of the Closed Fist from Legends, up 42.57% from $5.99 to $8.54, seeing new all-time highs. And this card does see a bit of play as a commander in a deck registered on G Goldfish. So, you know, it is a legendary creature, so some people might want to build it as a commander. It's also from Legends, so it's spiking. Strip Mine, this is the No Horizon version from Antiquities. This is up 42.87% from $90.99 to $130. Now, you can get cheaper copies from 4th edition as well, but it does see a lot of play in Vintage Golas stacks, Salt Eye Midrange, and even Ravager shops, but also sees play in Commander as well. Okay, next up on the list is Kismet from Legends. We've seen this card show up on this list a lot. This is up 45.46% from $54.99 to $79.99, seeing new all-time highs, and it does see a bit of play in Commander. More recently, a Davri Imperial Tactician deck that utilizes this card. Okay, and the next card we have on the list to talk about is Willow Satyr. Uh, or Sater, depending on how you like to pronounce that. This is from Legends, and it is a reserve list card, up 47.04% from $169.99 to $249.95. Now, this card does not see much play, uh, mostly just in Commander, and there is two registered copies in Rubia, Soulsinger deck. Okay, and the next card we had to talk on the list is one that was on our list earlier this week, Chain of Smog from Onslaught. This is up 49.68% from 40 14.03 to $21, seeing new all-time highs again, and this is actually used a bit in Commander, but that's not the reason why it's actually going up. It's because there is an infinite combo from a card that was recently spoiled from Strixhaven, Professor Onyx, which is actually a Liliana Planeswalker, and that is the main reason it's going up today. Shivan Dragon from 4th edition. This is at 50.05% from $9.99 to $14.99. Now, this card is one of the most iconic cards in the game. I call it the Charizard of Magic. It was printed in Alpha, Beta, Revised, Unlimited, and they just kept printing it pretty much in every set. But this is one of the last versions of the card where you get the original artwork on it. And for that reason, I think it's going up. Ruck Egg version 2 from Arabian Nights. This is up 83.07% from $67.99 to $124.47. Now this card does see a little bit of play in Commander in an Alta Pelini Nest Tender deck. Atla, sorry, I uh, can't pronounce that properly. Next up is Sandals of Abdallah. This is Arabian Nights Reserve List card up 90.35% from 78.74, seeing new all-time highs to 149.88. Now, there is no decks that actually use this card, but it is a Reserve List card from Arabian Nights, and that's why it's on this list today. Next up is Winter Blast from Legends. This is up 111.46% from $30.97 to $65.49, seeing new all-time highs. And there is one deck that does use it that's registered on Digi Goldfish, uh, Ovia Pashiri Sage Life Crafter deck. Okay, and the next card on the list is Polluted Delta. It is all about the fetch. This is the original Onslaught version, up 137.71% from $53.70 to $127.65. But look at that foil price, almost $900 now on the market. And this is obviously a card that is utilized in many decks. Next up is Unstable Mutation from Arabian Nights. On our list yesterday, this is up 154.66% 
from 1963 to 49.99, seeing new all-time highs. Now, this doesn't really have any registered decks that I could find that are utilizing this card, but it is a card from Arabian Nights, and perhaps that's one of the reasons why it's getting a buyout. Next up on the list is Phyrexian Arena from Plane Chase, pl printed uh, plenty of times, but this is specifically the Plane Chase version, which doesn't have as much copies on the market. This is up 155.23% from 39.18 to $100, seeing new all-time highs. And this card is seeing a ton of play in Commander. Most recently, a Turgrid God of Fright deck. Okay, now I wanted to show you uh, some specs that I picked up from my local game store that went horribly wrong as they sent me the wrong copies of the card. Check it out. I got some more magic cards in the mail. These are uh, from my local game store. We're not so local. Same city, but... Uh, too far to actually walk to. I'd have to drive there. So these were some specs that I was talking about in one of the market movers earlier, and I thought I would put my money where my mouth is. And as you can see, it says eight active volcanoes that I got for 49 cents a piece, and four boomerangs at 49 cents a piece as well. I thought that was a pretty decent deal, considering these are mint condition. Let's just take a look at how mint condition these really are. Um, I think these are undervalued cards from Legends. Um, I don't know if you guys feel the same way. Let me know in the comments. They did tape it pretty well here. Ooh, wow. Two top loaders side by side. Wowza. Right off the bat, they messed up the order. I ordered uh, not Chronicles. I ordered... Legends, and they put Chronicles. All right. Well, first I thought that was just a joke, but no, they sent me Chronicles cards. Uh, this is not what I ordered. Okay. Well, uh, they messed up my order. Uh, I guess back to the video. <laughs> okay, and now final thoughts on the market. Well, that was pretty painful. Uh, I'm going to have to send them a... A message about that because I think they just defaulted to sending me Chronicles. They might have been sold out after I purchased or they sold some of those copies in store. I did talk about them in a previous Market Mover video as potential specs. That's one of the reasons why I got it, but only because of the Legends versions were more scarcely print than Chronicles. Anyways, uh, we are getting more Legends cards. We actually did get a fetch land on the list for once. Wow, that's a surprise. Uh, I was not expecting that, but it's nice to see some of the older fetch lands come up on this list because I think that they are very undervalued. It's the first printing of fetch lands, and fetch lands are cards that are used in so many decks that it's a surprise to see them not actually going up as much as these Zendikar ones have in, in recent years. Anyways, uh, that is my thoughts on the market. Let me know your thoughts down below, and I make these videos Monday to Friday, so please subscribe if you're new to the channel. And with that being said, enjoy your weekend. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.